to pack some protein into your breakfast, we've got an expert that's going to show us some healthy meals that will leave you ready to face the day all day. Back in a moment. It's the most important meal of the day. We're talking about breakfast. So having a meal that's full of protein and body boosting ingredients can leave you filled up and ready to tackle your day. So joining us here in the studio is Jill Motu, founder of Zima's Madhouse Foods with some healthy breakfast recipes. Jill, always good to see you. Yeah, Let's talk about the name, Zima's. How'd you come up with that? Zima's is the initials of my five kids, Zev, Emmy, Max, Asher, and Simon. And Madhouse is? My house 24-7. <laughs> that's a good one. Yes. All right, let's talk about this because we do know that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Yes, it is. And a lot of people think you can just pack it all in then, but you're saying there's a way to do it. There is a way. And be healthy. Right. And we're still in January, so Happy New Year to you. Yes, Happy and New Year. And we are still hopefully rock solid on our New Year's resolution to eat healthy. So I brought two breakfast options for you. And the first one we're going to do are protein filled pancakes. So I'm using today mm -hmm. my Zima's Coco Teff Pancake and Waffle Mix, which I love because it's filled with ancient whole grains like teff and sorghum, chia, hemp flax, things that are going to give us energy. You got some good stuff there. To that we're going to add this protein powder that's made by Live Well out of a Philadelphia based company. Which and is you're a, using all of that, okay, because we yes. want to get through this. Yes. So I yeah, and I'm gonna and have you start mixing up here. We've got some oil in here, which mm -hmm. I'm using grapeseed oil. You can use coconut oil, non-GMO canola. And you have I, a thing with grapeseed oil too. I do love it. It's a neutral flavor, so it's it's just a great overall general flavor. Um, I'm adding some baking soda to this because we're adding protein powder, so we need to add a little bit more leavening agent. And to that, I'm adding my unsweetened chocolate almond milk. But you can use any milk of choice um, that your family uses. I was gonna say you're using everything that's, we've got the cocoa exactly. powder here this with the pancake mix and chocolate milk basically. And these are pantry staples. This is an egg. If you want to do a vegan version, no worries, just use your favorite vegan replacement. And then this is some pure maple syrup, which is going to add some great minerals and vitamins and it's an unrefined sweetness. Syrup so, already in the pancake that's mix right. while we're cooking so it. So I've got my griddle preheated here already to hot. about 350. I'm using some non-GMO canola spray mm -hmm. and you're going to ladle on about a quarter cup of pancake mix. I'm going to take it from you for a minute. Not a problem. Now, the key to making successful pancakes is to cook them low and slow. Let the ear bubbles rise. When you see the ear bubbles, that's when you know to flip. Low and slow. Now, that's a problem that I have because I usually right, put in as up. much batter as the right. size of the pancake I want. No, that's doing too no, much. No, just a little okay. quarter cup. Now, to boost up my pancakes that I have already made here, I made a peanut butter maple syrup. Real quickly, you can just mix it up into your saucepan over a low heat. Mm -hmm. And look at this. This is additional protein. Just pour it over your pancakes. And then to garnish it, I've got some chopped roasted peanuts. Some peanuts there. Now, if you have an allergy to peanuts, no worries. You replace it with sun butter, soy butter, almond butter, whatever your family uses. And you've got those stacked up there. All right, oh, so yeah. the next one. So now we're going to do a detox smoothie. So if you're like me and a huge smoothie fan and like to drink your calories in the morning, yes. this is a great way. I do way. like to drink my calories. Right, maybe, you had, <laughs> maybe you had a rough night. Maybe you woke up, you ate something, and your, fan, your stomach is feeling a little acidic. So we're going to start with coconut water. My coconut water. Well, I was going to say that. That's Why right. are you it's using gonna, that? It's because it's going to rehydrate us. So um, to that, we're going to add lemon, freshly squeezed lemon juice. Lemon juice tastes acidic, but it's actually alkalining into our body. So instead of the yogurt or frozen right. ice cream or whatever, you can use, right. you're saying yeah. use the coconut. We, use the coconut water. We want to use ingredients that are going to serve a purpose in our body. Okay, all day long. Okay, so I'm adding some fresh aloe. You can buy that anywhere. So just as you would put aloe on a burn on the outside of yes. your skin, you can use this to soothe the inside of your gut. So, so just you a can, little... You can peel back a plant and use right. that from there. Okay. Yes, there it is right there. Just take a little slice. That's what you got right there. I'm going to use a little Manuka honey. You can also use a little maple syrup if you're a vegan. But I'm Now using where can we find this? Manuka, Manuka honey. honey is everywhere. And what it's great for is it's antibacterial. So it's a great source of keeping away like the flu and you know we're in flu season, cold season. All right, so I got about 30 seconds okay. left here, Jill. Of so we got to toss it in. We've got my favorite chia seeds in here for some protein. We've got our cord peeled apple to add in some more vitamins and minerals. And some We've got frozen, frozen strawberries. strawberries. And we can, for our healthy fat, we're going to use some MCT oil. You can also use. Uh, a what bit is this of again? Avocado. MCT oil? Yep. So if you want some quick brain food, let's get this going. Some quick brain food, a boost of energy. MCT oil is a great way to go. Or you can also use 
a little bit of avocado. Okay, that's a good one. All right. All right, that's it then. So look at that. Nice and frothy from the strawberries. I've got two cups here for you. One for, uh, one for you, one for me, and then we'll get one for Corey. Oh, of course. And we got to go. So, Jill, people want more information about the recipes that you shared with us today. Where can they go? They are all on my blog, on my website at zimasfoods.com. And cheers. All right. Thank you so much. Back in a moment.